Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills, and welcome back to the Chelsea Career Mode. First of all, we got to start this episode off by saying, hey, thank you guys so much for the love and support on the last episode. Now, the last episode came out last night, not a scheduled time like usual. It just came out out of the blue, but I didn't want to miss another day on you guys, so I, lo I lobbed it up, and we sold Keppa. And... I didn't know how the reaction was going to be. I didn't know how a lot of you guys were going to take it. I just felt deep down inside as watching as a neutral like a neutral football fan that I didn't like the way the Keppa situation went down. And I felt that regardless of Siri, regardless of Keppa, regardless of everything that the, that him being at Chelsea anymore just didn't make sense to me. I didn't like the way he treated the badge. I didn't like the way he treated the club. I didn't like the way he treated the fans. I felt him not coming off the field was disrespectful to the fans, not just to the manager. Regardless of who the manager is and how much you hate the manager, you have to listen to your manager because the ownership and the board gave the manager that power and that right. You got to show that respect. I don't care if you're Cristiano Ronaldo, if you're Messi, or if you're Kepa. I don't care who you are. You show respect to your manager. With that being said, we no longer have Kepa at the team. We traded him and 20 million for Donna Ruma. Donna Ruma's a young Italian, 19 year old, 6'5. The boy, it looks like a beast. I'm really happy to have him here at Chelsea. I also went out and picked up the young 24 year old Portuguese man, Nelson Smith. A lot of speed down the right wing. We got some nice skill moves on him as well, which is beautiful. We also went out and paid 50 million for Alex Telles. Now, this is a little, this is the biggest, the biggest signing of the year so far. Big boy Alex Telles coming in at 20. 25 years old looks like he could really hold down the left side really trying to beef up this defense man we were called Pulisic so Pulisic is back in town not back in town but in town for the first time with a Chelsea shirt on Aspeli Quetta will no longer be our captain I'm taking the captain role from Aspeli Quetta and I'm going to give the captain role um to my guy uh Conte Conte is the new captain of Chelsea why because Kepa didn't want to leave the field. Aspeli Quetta, as the captain, should have went up and spoke to Kepa, in my opinion. Any player should have went up to Kepa and spoke to him, especially the oldest players there. The only guy who did it was David Luiz. David Luiz was the only guy that walked up to Kepa and tried to knock some sense into him to get off the field and listen to the manager. Nobody else did. Aspeli Quetta, I'm disappointed in you. You are not going to be the captain of my squad. You're still going to be an important player on my squad, but the captain role, we're going to send that over to the boy Conte. We're going to let him be the leader and the man that brings this team together. All right? So, with that, that being said, we get a big offer in from Spurs to take uh, uh, Willian. I would have discussed this, but I'm going to reject it instantly because it's Spurs and I'm not really looking to do business with Spurs at the moment. I don't want to do business with Spurs. I did business with Liverpool simply because it was for Cahill and Cahill's very old. So I was like, you know what? Let's get it done. Let's get it dusted. I want to take the core of Chelsea, the Hazard, the Conte, the big names, you know what I'm saying? The big, big guys and keep them around. Um, this move here not looking like it's gonna happen i'm not letting one of my young players go get that out of here but when it comes to anything else i don't really care who stays at chelsea chelsea's been together this group of guys have been together for way too long it's time to blow them up and figure something else out figure something out that's working because obviously this isn't working anymore um zuma had an offer but i didn't want to sell him either way to turkey so i let him go with that being said this game here is the, the shield game i don't really care for it so i'm going to simulate it uh, my starting 11 is going to be Hazard, Iguain, Willian, Jorginho, Kovacic, and the boy Conte. Uh, with Milan and Aspeliquet at the center back roles with Nelson Smith and Alex Telles and big boy Donnarumma in that. We have a lot of things to go over, man, in the comments down below. First of all, the top comment on the episode said R.I.P. Keppa. They said 246 thumbs up. He must have got a lot of abuse in the changing room. I don't really know what happened in that changing room, but I would imagine it would have been good conversations. The next conversation, the next uh, comment has 167 thumbs up, and it tells us to uh, bring in Pepe and sell Willian and Pedro and call back Pulisic. Now, I just had a chance to sell Willian, and I didn't do it. Wait a minute. Did I accidentally go out without saving, and now we have to redo all that? I think I did. That's a massive L on my part. Um, swap uh, uh, a cheek for, for Jorginho, so you want to see cheek in the starting 11. Boy, I got an opportunity to sell Willian again. I'm just rejecting it. We're not selling Willian. Well, we're not selling Willian to Spurs. I will sell Willian, but not to Spurs. Also, buy Bruno Fernandes and João Felix. Sell Pedro and Willian. So, the Bruno Fernandes move is a very... This is another very interesting move. The, the, the young Denmark center back. I have so many center backs. That if they did step up, enter, and give me 37 million, I would actually think about this. So let's go ahead and talk. The Bruno Fernandes deal, you guys are probably like, what's up? Now, I'm, I'm Portuguese. I watch the Portuguese League very heavily. Sporting is having a terrible season. Um, that is Benfica's rivals. Um, they're having a terrible season, right? But let me just go ahead and put this out there. I want 40 million. 
Uh, let me go ahead and put this out here. They're having, I don't want to say a terrible season because they did win the Portuguese, the, like the Portuguese, the League Cup, whatever you call it, the Portuguese League Cup, not the Portuguese. Oh, wow, look at this. You mad? Okay, then get out, man. My fault. Uh, they did win. Like, let me go ahead and put this out the correct, okay? They didn't win the Portuguese Cup, but they won the Portuguese League Cup, right? Um, now, the Portuguese League Cup, um, they won that. Uh, but the only guy on that team that's actually playing ridiculous football, you would think it's Bas Dos, who's one of their best players. It's Bruno Fernandes, who is their best player. Bruno Fernandes is having an unbelievable season. I believe he has like 21 goals and 30 appearances and like six like six assists or seven assists. It's something crazy, man. It's something crazy. Drinkwater uh, gets an offer here from uh, Lazio. I'm going to sit down, try to pull like 17 million, and Drinkwater might be on his way out the door, man. He might be on his way out the door, 28 year old, and we might turn around and maybe talk about Bruno Fernandes. Now, Manchester United in real life are actually interested in Bruno Fernandes heavily. I saw that uh, report coming out in Portugal, actually to yesterday, yesterday that came out, that Bruno Fernandes, they are not trying to budge on drink water. Um, I don't really care for drink water, bros, honestly, man. Um, we get the deal done at 14 million, so he's gonna be on his way to Italy over there at Lazio. Uh, Bruno Fernandes, man, he's obviously, um, uh, he, he's, he's obviously, I'm so surprised a lot of you guys supported my Kepa move. I just, I felt like that was the right thing. Um, he's obviously having a hell of a season. Manchester United looking at him in real life. There's a lot of teams looking at him in real life. But Manchester United is uh, uh, one of the teams heavily chasing him. Now, Bruno Fernandes, um, did I spell that wrong? I did, big time. Bruno Fernandes um, actually played uh, in Italy already. Left Italy and went to Spartan for like 8 million. His release clause is 97 million. In real life, his release clause is um, 100 million. This is an interesting one, actually, because our midfield could be, it actually could be Conte, my man Cheek, right, and uh, and Bruno Fernandes. That actually could be a solid midfield, man. That actually could be a pretty deadly midfield. This Bruno Fernandes guy has a ridiculous long shot on him, and we've never signed him in a career mode, so that actually could be a cheeky move, man. You know, let's sit down. Let's see what we can do here, man. Um, 20... Uh, 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 22 thumbs up and he says he refused to go off I feel sorry for Siri that is true I felt sorry for Siri as well, as well man skills remember to do trainings players like Hudson and stuff okay I definitely will do training I promise you guys that um, let's see man what can we do here yo you know what let's try now I was gonna say let's swap Pedro but it's not good to swap I'm gonna offer 50 million bros I'm gonna offer 50 million and a big sell on clause sorry my nose is still stuffy I'm still hella sick trying to get over it 83 million man I just don't have 83 million I would love to sign him, man. I would love to sign Bruno Fernandes. I really would, man. But we just don't have that type of money, man, that they're looking for. $83 million is something that we don't got. So, unfortunately, we have to walk away from the Bruno Fernandes deal, unfortunately. But that is definitely um, that is definitely something I would have loved to do. Skills, you got it wrong, man. They thought he was injured. He wasn't. Uh, he was... Uh, he. Uh, he was holding his ankle 45 thumbs up so so one person thinks i actually got it wrong so a lot of people are saying that he was actually they thought he was hurt um i don't know that doesn't really i feel like if he were if they thought he was hurt it wouldn't have been an argument like that keppa would have walked to the sideline and said manager i'm not hurt and the manager would have been like get back in there i feel like that i feel like that's i feel like mm, Mm, I feel like that's Chelsea trying to smooth it over. Nah, I'm not buying it, bro. I'm not buying it for a second, man. Um, skills, I've been saying it for a while, a while, but I barely get thumbs up by Franco Servi. Franco Servi is actually from Benfica. Uh, Franco Servi could be somebody that's pretty cool to pick up, um, but I, I don't know. I don't know how much he actually goes for. Let's scout him. Um, we'll scout him and see what they say and kind of go from there. Franco Servi plays the left wing. Not something we really need, though, because we do have Hazard. Um, but we'll continue to go with it, man. Um, um, man, my nose is so stuffy. I'm sorry, bro. Big old thumbs up if you haven't done it already. Make sure to subscribe. I'm going to simulate this game. As I told you guys, I was going to simulate this. Wait, did I take the Aspelli quit the Captain Bandera? Because I did that one before I re like accidentally backed out of Karima boxing because I wasn't paying attention. I don't want him to be the captain. Yeah, he's not the captain. Captain Conte's the captain. All right, cool. Con he's the captain. Um, let's do this, man. Let's go ahead and see what happens in the FA Cup match. Um, and see what goes on, man. With that being said, uh, I just said I, I, I just said how you mispronounced um, Arara. I, I say Arara so wrong, man. I really do say it so wrong. A O U R A. I don't know how to say it. We are getting smacked here by Man City. Bernardo Silva gets injured for them. Nelson Smith, who scores on his debut, 
can we equalize this and send it into extra time and penalties? Um, Leroy Sani makes it 3-1, and that's going to be how the cookie crumbles. I'm okay with that. I didn't really mind losing the FA the FA Cup, the Community Shield. Don't really care for that. Um, I care for the big stuff, man. I care for the league, man. That's what I care about. That's it. Point blank, uh, period. Um, scrolling down some more. I don't. You guys didn't really give me that many big names to pick up, man. Sell Pedro and sign um, from Real, the Real Madrid player. Um, damn, man. Frank, sign Frank De Jong. That's the guy that just went over to... Uh, Barca on loan, right? Or, or or they bought him, but he's not there yet, I believe. By Rabiot, 84 to 89 potential and seems like Chelsea, it seems like it fits Chelsea's need. Big boy Rabiot. That could actually be an interesting one as well. Interesting one as well. Like I said, the Bruno Fernandes deal would have been a sick deal, to be honest with you. Um, but uh, we do, I definitely, what do we need? Looking at this, what the heck do we need? Um, we got Donnarumma, Aspeliqueta. I, I feel like we need a midfielder. I just feel like we need somebody else beside Conte you know what I'm saying I feel like we need somebody else beside Conte I don't know who but I definitely feel like we need somebody else um uh somebody else man um I just feel like we need somebody else man I just I feel like we need somebody else and I don't know who it is for the right wing position I kind of like William I'm going down the comments right now just reading everything you guys said hey you should sign Diego that's 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 the young Mexican guy we signed him before you should recall Morata if you want him we could possibly do that later on the career mode depending if we're not getting a lot of goals you should sign Savic I feel like he's gonna cost way too much money for us to for us to bring in sign Bruno Fernandes he's broken in career mode I already tried to we couldn't afford him unfortunately okay I like this move boom you know what? Actually, you know who I'm going to sign? I'm going to sign the young Frenchman. We, we we talked about it, and now it's time to do it. We talked about it, and it's time to do it, man. There's two. There's two young players I want to look at, actually. Um, We talked about it, and we're going to do it, bros. Uh, This is one of them. How do you spell it? it it's spelled, uh, uh, I'm looking at it, D-A-A-C. -A 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 is that him right there? Boom. So we got the young 21-year-old, okay, from Inter. And then there's the Frenchman from Lyon. I want the Frenchman from Lyon. I really wanted Bruno Fernandes. I thought Bruno Fernandes would have been a hell of a move. Like, I'm not lying to you guys. I thought Bruno Fernandes would have been a very, very good move. Unfortunately, he was way too expensive. But this move here, he's an 80 overall. He's still very young. This is our move, man. This is our guy, man. This is 100% our guy. Arara, man. We are going to step in here. We are going to offer up uh, 40 million. We're going to get the party started right. I'm going to give him a nice sell-on clause. We're going to get this deal done right off the jump. And we're going to move away. Let's go. Boom. Done. 40 million. Maybe I overpaid. Maybe I didn't overpay. I want this deal to be closed, done, dusted right now on the spot. Get it done. Negotiate this. And I'm going to show you one more move we're going to do as well. Barkley's going to be a backup to all this. He's on He's on 60. You're starting, brother. You're, you're my guy. Trust me when I say that, bro. You are my guy. Four-year deal. Now, don't, you, I, I, we should do a five-year, but I'm cool with that. I'm telling you guys right now, man. We are going to take Chelsea to the top, man. 60,000, I'm left with 80, 70, 38 million still to waste with players still to sell. I love it. We just brought in the homie, Arara. Please know that I'm going to say his name very wrong multiple times throughout this career mode. Um, also, AC Milan and Bakioko's time is over. The young 23-year-old is getting coming back. A lot of managers got it wrong with him. I'm going to get it right with him. Big boy Bakioko is that guy, and he is back, man. Bakioko is back, 100% back. Get get Pedro out of here. Um, yo, my voice is giving out, bros. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I'm going to get through this episode. I promise y'all, man. I'm going to get through it, man. I'm 100% going to get through it. All right? Uh, starters, Conte, Arara, and Cheek. Bakioko could take this spot, could not take this spot. I'm not really sure yet. I'm not 100% sure what the play is going to be when it comes to that. But what I do know is that our team has depth. It's starting to form. What we need is a right winger. What we need is a right winger. We sell Pedro. We possibly sell Willian. And we waste all the money we have left over. We waste all the money. All the money we have left over on a right winger. And that's where I think we're at. A hundred percent. We sell Willian. We sell Pedro. We're probably up to 40 million now that drink water has left. Let's go check how much we're at. We're probably about yep, 44 million. We sell Pedro and Willian possibly, maybe just Pedro, maybe just Pedro's enough to sell. We sell Pedro bros and, um, and, uh, 
We sell Pedro and we and we and, and, and we and we try to bring in a winger. Guys, right now, blow it up, man. I want a winger. I want a winger. And I know we got Pulisic and I know we got Willian, but Willian could be a backup um, to whoever the starter is, and Pulisic could be a backup to Hazard. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. I love it. I love the way it sounds. My guy Pedro, did I already list him up for sale? I think I did, right? I'm pretty sure I did, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, you're not gonna get much playing time. So let's go ahead and put you out on loan. Um Barkley's going to get playing time for sure. Willian, uh, Pedro for sale. Willian's not for sale, but I mean, I could list him up. He is 30. Let's just view offers. Nah, nah, nah. Let's keep it like that. So Pedro's now up for sale. And I like where we're at, bros. I do like where we're at. Give me right wingers that you guys want me to sign. I'm going to sim this game. It's the last game. First game of the season, I'm going to sim it. It probably shouldn't. But uh, I want to see how my team performs, man. Then we're going to get into gameplay, obviously. In the next episode, 100%, I want to sign a right winger and one that we haven't used very often. So if you got anybody, blow it up in the comments down below. Stop it. Stop it, EA. Stop it. Look at this team I've put together. Stop playing games with me. Don't play these stupid games with me. Wow. Okay, maybe I should have played it. Willian clutches up in the fit. In, wow. They, they score. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, Ah, uh, okay, it's okay. We start off, we start the season off with a loss. Hey, listen, hey, listen. I shouldn't have simmed. That's my fault. I shouldn't have simmed. I got a little bit of cocky, and I simmed. Um, but I'm okay. That's okay. They start us off with a loss. It's okay. You're making it harder for us. It's okay. We're winning the season 100%. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how you do it. We're winning the season 100%, bros. I'm not worried about it, bros. With that being said. I can't make it no more, man. My voice is giving out. You guys can hear it. Uh, please, please let me know. Right winger to sign. We got Arsenal up next. First game of the season that we're going to play against Arsenal. 100%. You're not going to want to miss it. Loan off from Pulisic. It's not happening. Uh, right winger. Blow it up in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Big old thumbs up. I love your faces. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I'll catch you back here tomorrow. Same time, same place. Booyah. We out.